What's up, fourth graders? This video is a recap of Illustrative Mathematics, fourth grade, unit three, pages three through 14, which is lessons one, two, and three. We are discussing equal groups of fractions or multiplication. And we've been talking about that with expressions and values and groups of and all of these things. We're gonna get to a brief recap right after this, stick around. All right. So we've been talking about things in class. We've been talking about expressions, values, and diagrams. That has been the depth of our conversations. That's been the bulk of our conversations. An expression is a number sentence with no equal sign. So this is what an expression would look like. We read an expression, it's a number sentence, just like a word sentence. We read it from left to right, just like you normally would. And we would say eight, do not say times. What do we say? Groups of, that's right. Eight groups of one half. That's how we would say that. Then we would draw it like this. We would draw eight groups like so, and we would write one half in each group. So one half, one half, one half, one half. Now, when we say this, we count them all up. This is how we're gonna find the value. We use the diagram to find the value. One half, two halves, three halves, four halves, five halves, six halves, seven halves, eight halves. We look here at these eight halves. And then we make some, we make some observations here. We observe that the denominator is staying the same. We are not changing the size of the piece. The denominator stays the same here. We also observe that when we're multiplying, we all of the expression is always going to have a unit fraction. We've been talking about this. A unit fraction always has a numerator of one. So one half, one seventh, one 35th, I don't know, it doesn't matter, 1 12th. It's this one here that is the kicker. This is called a unit fraction. The unit fraction tells you how big the piece is. And so then when you have this eight and one, eight groups of one half as an expression, then you count out the halves, one half, two halves, three halves, four halves, five halves, six halves, seven halves, eight halves, this becomes the value of your expression, and you can give that an equal sign. Turn it into an equation, give it an equal sign, and the value is 8 halves. So that is really the crux. That is the whole of what we have been doing this week in class. We broke it. We started off with it real broken down, and then we bumped it up. And so any of the assignments or any work you see on pages 3 through 14, you can do any of that. There is an activity at the bottom of page 14, which is very valuable. And I'll just do it for us real quick here to show you what I mean. It's extremely valuable and it would look like this. Step one, write a fraction with a numerator other than one and a denominator greater than 12. So a numerator different than one, that would be two, anything, not one, don't go more than 12. And then a denominator, 12 or less. So let's call it eight. So I have a piece of paper here. It has two eighths. Step number two, write the fraction, write the fraction you received. Normally you would be passing in a group. Write the fraction you received as a product of a whole number and a unit fraction. This is just writing an expression using a unit fraction, which I talked about a second ago, to represent this fraction. So we have two groups of one eighth and it would then look like this this is the expression that you're trying that represents this fraction and finally we would draw a diagram and i'll draw a different diagram right now than i drew just a second ago just to show you your options and so it would look like this this is two groups of we have two groups of one eighth in each group and only one eighth is shaded because this just shows you that there are eight pieces in the hole and only one of these pieces are shaded. You could also do this, 
to be exactly the same, a diagram like this. So this, you could have your student or you as the student could do as many of these as you wanted for extra practice. This is what we have been talking about, building fractions from expressions, building expressions from fractions and diagrams and so forth, okay? That's what we've been working on. Let me know if you have any questions and I will catch you later.